common citizen with limited time to actually engage in care by making it easy and by making it matter. So our habit does this mainly by forming a feedback loop between politicians and, peer, and people. All right, so my name is Angelique, and I'm part of Team Participation. Participation is a team of six members who decided to take advantage of the opportunity this weekend to figure out a way to connect the average person better with their Congress. So this is Team Participation, if a photo available upon request. <laughs> so we chose the challenge of closing representation and trust gaps. So what's the real problem? We know that there's a ton of really awesome, amazing websites already out there that have a ton of information. And if you're a Harvard Kennedy School student, if you're a staffer on the Hill, if you have a job that requires you to dig deep into a ton of information, those sources exist. They're there, we understand. But for the average person, it's too much. They, even if they go to those websites, they don't really know where to look because they're overwhelmed. And that adds to the disconnect they feel between themselves and Congress. So our goal was to create a personalized experience for that average voter, allowing them to get the information they specifically want and no more, and not having to put in that much effort to get it. And you know, it came up that why are we thinking of a way to engage uh, the consumer, the average voter? It's really hard. Maybe we should think of something that's a little bit more tangible. But public opinion matters, and it's not okay that we continue accepting that there's this disconnect. So our product starts with the citizen. The citizen becomes engaged. It will allow the politician to listen, which you'll hear more about, and the citizen then becomes connected in an easy way. If you have your computers in front of you, you can go to www.participation.org, <laughs> and now uh, Shish will explain our product to you. Uh, thanks, Angelique. So yeah, with that as a challenge, it's really difficult to solve this problem. But with this first version, I think uh, we are all confident that it's the right direction. So the way it works is you start by putting in your zip code, and we use um, Sunlight Foundation's APIs to put in a lot of information. So you start by selecting a few issue areas that you're really passionate about, and when you submit, uh, we're going to pull up that information. All of this information is available, and really, you can you know, the challenge is making it easy for people to consume this information and for them to come back to it. So now, based on that information that you entered, uh, we are going to use your voting pattern and the pattern of your representatives uh, to find, find a match, and you can figure out, are you really being represented or not? Um, you can see the approval rating for your uh, uh, representatives. If you scroll down, you have a history available for different bills on which you have voted and your rep has voted, and you know, are you really uh, being represented? Uh, from this point on, you can click on any of these um, reps and go to their profile page. It's like IMDB for uh, politicians or even IMDB for bills, and you have more information available. The more you interact with this application, the better your match becomes. Um, and it, it has that kind of gamification element that's going to bring the average person out and he's going to go to this application. Uh, as we move forward, um, if you scroll up and click on uh, the bills page, so you can see the profile of a bill, uh, really what's going on. Oh my god, they're only 80 uh, until uh, the voting happens, so I really need to vote and become part of the democracy. Uh, from this point on, you know, you have, you have discussed you know, how the end user is going to interact with the application, but what about all of this information we're collecting? We're going to complete the feedback loop by making this information available to the representatives as well. So if we go to the uh, public sentiment page, you know, now the congressional staff doesn't have to spend hours before the final vote to collect all of this information from multiple locations. Uh, all of these summaries are available, broken down by different, uh, you know, geography, age. And final piece, if you move forward, you know, this application is incomplete without a mobile version. So, you know, imagine you're walking down the street and you get a notification, oh my god, I really care about this particular issue and voting is going to happen. So, do you support it or do you not support it? It's just a swipe of a, of a button and you become part of the system. Uh, final piece, future, um, you know, to build on this, we just use the API, which is publicly available. It's really, really easy to use, uh, scalable, it's hosted in the Amazon cloud. And moving forward, when we establish a critical mass, uh, which is a challenge for any kind of social application that you build, uh, we can do great things. Thanks, and just really quickly before it ends, I think the inspiration between us is, as an elected official, I think it's hardest with your constituents to overcome that trust deficit. The walls that come up between participation, lobbyists and super PACs, I think the biggest deficit in this country is the trust deficit. And so we try to make information accessible about Congress and make it easy for people to interact with their 
for your time. Thank you. Thank you.